the sirens are blaring and the birds are singing housekeeping I have what I call my Irish stout falcon pipe because it reminds me of Irish stout like Guinness or Beamish or Murphy's and I have inside some squadron leader by Samuel Garlis. Mm. Talking of Murphy's, another of my beer glass collection. And I realised the other day this isn't actually a pint glass. This was designed to take one can of Murphy's Draft in a tin. And there's a particular reason why I've chosen Murphy's today. It's not because I've got the glass, because I've had that for years. It's not because I particularly fancied the drink. This video is a tribute video. This video is a tribute to my late half-brother, Sean Murphy, hence the Murphys. Now, straight off the bat, I don't want you to think that this video is meant to be morbid or maudlin. It's not a pity party. It's not looking for sympathy. It's just a tribute to my brother, half-brother. Well, I thought of him as my brother, um, who died about just over a month ago. <clears throat> he was 20 years older than me. He did like a drink, which didn't help. He was a thirsty man. And he liked to drink a bit too much. And he was a stubborn man. Um, he used to say, I marched to the beat of my own drum. And he lived his life his way. And he wasn't going to give up drinking for his health. But he got ill, went to hospital contracted coronavirus and I'm not saying that that is um, oh there's a call coming in I'm not saying that that's probably going to cut me off now I'm not saying that's what killed him because everybody that dies that has coronavirus they put down that coronavirus is the cause but it wasn't I don't think it was the cause it certainly didn't help but there you go um, I've lost my thread now because of the, the call coming in. But that was about, I say, over a month ago that he died. 
I think I've put in one of my videos in the comment section. I think I'm putting dedicated to Sean Murphy. Um, the reason, the reason that I um, making this, I'm making this video today, is because I had to go to his his flat today, his apartment, to collect um, whatever I wanted as a keepsake, which wasn't much. Um, my older brother in Canada who was Sean's full brother, he's next of kin, so he's the executor. So I have little say of what happens. He was cremated in sort of the emergency cremation system that they've got, um, which is just a very basic straight in. And it happened, it was, it was with the funeral directors that I sometimes work for on my days off so I was able to take him in in the hearse bear him which you know a lot of people whose families died of corona haven't had that benefit of being able to you know families are restricted to 10 in our region to go to the funeral um, but I was able to to bear him into the um, crematorium and I also saw a minister there who's a friend of mine who my brother would have approved of because he was a bit of a he looked like somebody from ZZ Top with a big beard and he wears Dr Martin boots underneath his cassock and I think my brother would have liked him and I asked him to say a few words as my brother was taken from the hearse. So, be thankful for small mercies. But I, I had to arrange to meet his, his best friend who had been charged with the job of emptying his flat and putting the stuff in storage until my brother from Canada can come over and I met him at the house this morning Dottie come here come here not you Charlie Charlie's coming come on come here Shy. So I met his friend who was at the flat and picked up this, which is probably the main thing that I wanted as a keepsake. This is a walking stick, and it's one of these ones, I think it's blackthorn or hawthorn and they actually grow the stick and then put some um, restriction on the growth so that it grows into the shape of a walking stick and then they cut it when it's the right thickness and height and I believe my brother used to collect walking sticks but he sold a lot of them when he was short of cash um, what do you think? I think he either sold or gave this one to my dad. And my dad used this when he was alive. And after my dad died, the next time I saw it, it was at my brother's house. So my mum must have given it to my brother. And it was one of the things, every time I went to visit my brother, I noticed it and thought, I'd kind of like to have that back because that was my dad's. So that was the one thing I asked my brother in Canada. I says, can I have that walking stick? And he said, yeah, sure, okay. So got my dad's old stick. And my son was looking at it today and he says, I'm having that when you die. <laughs> Fair enough. 
I also got from his flat because he used to collect old things was this old tin I believe it says gold flake but when I looked on the internet it says it, it's a cigarette tin but surely Rothman's gold flake number one I'm sure that would be a tobacco flake for pipes Hmm. Well, we've hit 10 minutes. <coughs> Dottie! <coughs> Come here. <coughs> Dottie! <coughs> now I'll bought you some more. said not to be maudlin so the rest of the day I've been working went down the allotment to do some work only the second time that I've been down there this year but surprisingly it's not as bad as it as you would think it would be Call the one dog, call the puppy, and the older dog comes to thinking you're calling him. <clears throat> hey Charlie, wasn't talking to you. Was I? Wasn't talking to you. He's a handsome chap in there. Yeah, so I went down the allotment and uh, one of my friends down there, she kindly gave me some tomato plants and half of them. I've been planting in my back garden, the other half I've planted the allotment, only a few, but how many do you need? End up with too many, you have more tomatoes than you know what to do with. Actually I can think of a lot of things I can do with tomatoes. My dad used to grow tomatoes and cucumbers in the greenhouse and used to grow that many, he'd give neighbours tomatoes. Anyway. I'm going to have to go because the dog's worrying the cat, the little one. And any minute now, the cat's going to lose its temper and turn around and swipe it. And I don't want to be taking the puppy down the, to the uh, vets with a bad eye. I'm watching you. Bad girl. Gotta go. Take care. Good health.